right, so here is the sunset sky. This is how it dried, putting the hair dryer. And you can see how the colors have really softened from what they were initially. I've made my gray on the palette. And what I'm going to do now is just kind of draw a little bit of a tree up in here. When you're using pencil on watercolor paper, just make sure that you don't press too heavy because if you need to change your mind, it won't erase properly and you'll actually indent the paper and it will act like a channel and all that pigment will settle in. So if I do this upside down, so I'm thinking just kind of some kind of big tree coming up in here and you can actually see how light I'm drawing it. Now this is just a guideline. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's what I actually have to paint. And the cool thing is, it's perfectly acceptable for um, pencil lines to become part of the painting. If you're really bothered by it, make sure your paint is 100% dry and then you can erase the pencil lines. The only color you cannot erase through is yellow. I'm really not sure why, but it doesn't work very well. Okay, so there's my tree. What I'm going to come in now is just grab my paintbrush and my gray. I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm just going to put some water in just so I'm using that wet on wet technique, one that we talked about earlier. A little bit of water and stir that gray that's on your palette because it will separate. Tilt your board and then just let the paint cascade all the way down. Get rid of some of the paint and now I'm switching to wet on dry. So that just means that my paper is dry. Really light pressure and you can see I'm holding my paintbrush pretty much at a 90 degree angle. Really, really light pressure and I'm just creating some extra branches. Okay, that's a really big puddle of paint so I'm just going to drag that down. And I'm not quite sure why but I absolutely adore trees with no leaves. I love the skeleton and the architecture of them. Okay, so that's where it's going to start. Now I'm just going to tilt it. And because it's shiny wet, it's still wet on wet, I can just add in some extra paint, let it cascade down and get a better sense of where things are. So if I flip this up, now I can just start to draw in some really fine branches and I can go as much, as many branches as I like. That one um, dried really, really light. So I think I might actually go I'm just going to make a few more branches. You can see I'm pressed really, really lightly. If you want, um, you can certainly come in, if you're getting really bored with the gray, you can come in and while it's shiny wet, you can drop in extra colors. If you want to head more towards a purple gray or a blue gray, you decide. So there's my tree. So this is where it's really cool because you can actually start to draw in some really fine branches and just think about your paintbrush dancing across the paper and you can have little tiny twigs kind of coming down, cascading down. And remember gravity is your friend so tilt your board, let things go on their own. You can see I've got a big puddle here so I'm just going to drag some of that out. In there. So that's how you turn your sunset sky into a little painting. And actually, if you sit tight for one second, you can grab two of these. So they're just L-shaped frames. And you can actually get a better idea of what your painting would look like framed. So you can actually have a good idea. There you go. There's your sunset with the tree.